Thanks, Mike. The governor is deciding how to deal with that $650 million deficit in the state budget. And we hear a lot about the impact on schools and state employees, but cuts will ripple to many services we may not think about, and all sorts of New Mexicans will be impacted. Nonprofits play a big role in our community. Programs like Cornucopia Adult Day Services. We run like businesses uh, to pay for our passion. Cornucopia serves 55 adults with a wide range of disabilities, and the goal here is to reduce isolation and improve life skills. Cornucopia actually has contracts with five different state run departments. Another program that contracts with the state is Big Brothers Big Sisters of New Mexico. 3,000 New Mexico kids are in the program, and they look up to their big brothers and sisters like Trevor looks up to Gary. He's told me recently that, that I'm his best adult friend. He's definitely my best kid friend. These two get together at least once a week, and that mentoring time has a huge impact. Experts say it keeps kids out of trouble and helps them make positive choices. Now some bad news. Both of these programs are facing substantial budget cuts under this proposal by the state legislature to fill that $650 million hole in the state budget. Many nonprofits have already felt steep cuts made a few months ago. This 8% is on top of an already drastic 43% uh, cut in, in our adults under the protective services. What we will lose is people actually being able to come. I mean, it's that simple. The additional funding cuts would mean 20 people turned away from the cornucopia program this year. Big Brothers and Big Sisters is looking at 10% in cuts. They are a volunteer organization, but there are costs like staffing to organize matches, yeah. events, and even more importantly, doing background checks for volunteers. If these cuts go through that the legislature passed, um, we would lose, uh, 365 kids would lose services that they're currently getting from Big Brothers Big Sisters. Both programs say it's heartbreaking to think of cutting services that are so much needed by a community already stressed by the economy. Both Bishop Couch and Midgley say it will cost the state more money in the long run if these cuts go through. They say the repercussions of losing these services of support and mentoring will cause more problems in the future.